Together with local organisations, WECF implements sanitation projects in the rural areas of Eastern Europe, the Caucasus and Central Asia. In many of these rural areas, there exists an enormous lack of safe water and sanitation. People rely on pit latrines, which smell badly and are almost always located outside and far away from the houses. Another problem is that urine and faeces of the pit latrines infiltrate and pollute the groundwater, and therefore also the drinking water. The Boldureshti authorities speak and explain why they've chosen to use urine diverting dry toilets after finding out about the demo toilets in the Ukraine. We were visited by an international organisation, WECF. Members of WECF visited the authorities and showed us a short film about eco-sand toilets. So I was thinking, why should it not function for us? What they can do, we can do as well. This is a urine diverting dry toilet. It has one chamber consisting of one container for urine and one for faeces. The dynamic of a urine diverting dry toilet is that the urine and the faeces are kept apart as they leave the body and are stored and sanitized separately on the spot. The fresh faeces are covered with ashes and earth. The covering dries the faeces and prevents them smelling bad and attracting flies. Just like every other toilet, a urine diverting dry toilet has to be regularly cleaned. With a brush, sponge and some soft detergent, the toilet can be kept hygienic. It is not a problem if some water goes into the urine container. However, water must be kept out of the faecal chamber. The chamber has to be very well closed in order to prevent air entering upwards through the toilet. And conversely, to stop the smell from the faeces container travelling back to the toilet. The urine is collected in a closed reservoir. This type of toilet can be built inside or attached to the house or outside in the yard. No water for flushing is needed, but a ventilation system is required. The ventilation system begins from the container in which the faeces are kept and ends on the top of the roof. The aim of the ventilation system is to accelerate the faeces drying process and prevent odours. One of the tasks of a safe sanitation system is making sure that no pathogens or microorganisms carrying health risks are spread into the environment. There are different methods for sanitizing pathogenic faecal material. According to guidelines from the World Health Organization, human faeces can be safely used in agriculture after an estimated period of storage or after composting. The guidelines also explain how the separated urine of a household can be safely used to fertilize crops and garden flowers. Baba Tanka experiences the use of urine in her garden. I am Baba Tanka and I use the urine for my toilet to grow flowers and pumpkins. For the application I dilute four times with water. And you see that the plants are doing very well. Indeed, urine can be used as nitrogen-rich liquid fertilizer. Research showed that urine of one person collected in one year could fertilize a garden of 300 square meters. A school is the heart of the village. Let's say it represents our culture, the future of our country, our children. And if a school has good sanitation, obviously, children will carry this habit into their own homes and villages. Parents see the positive attitude that their children have towards sustainable sanitation and they see that the health of their children improves. Good hygiene means children get less sick. WECF and partners have built urine diverting dry toilets for more than 50 schools and kindergartens and for over a thousand households in Eastern Europe, Caucasus and Central Asia. They benefit ten thousands of people, especially girls and women appreciate the dry toilets. The toilets don't need water for flushing and are safe, hygienic and comfortable.